Let's go. Sure. <sighs> and now Nier is ridden with disbelief. But there's only one door left ahead of us. And I think it's best that we don't make a meal sacrifice in vain. This is it. Behind these doors is the final boss of the game. So... But before that, let's read some documents. So, we actually got the Project, uh, Project Gestalt key, um, or documents, before we, uh... Well, basically defeated that. So, let's give them a... A proper read over. Project Gestalt Report 0923. As noted in the previous report, implementation of Gestalt mode can prevent the white chlorination syndrome we recently experienced. Transfer of bodily information to civilization repressed replicants is proceeding as planned, with the genes of the original safely stored inside. Our role as surveillance androids to prepare for when the incurable bacterial disease eventually dies out is also underway. So, this is proceeding without issue. So, as what we can gather from this is that the thing that was spreading and destroying Tokyo in the initial cutscene was actually the white chlorination syndrome, a disease that was killing people by the thousands. So, that's pretty much what the Gestalt project was. With all of this, they separated body from soul and made the replicants versions of themselves so that after the white chlorination syndrome has died out, the Gestalts may place themselves within their replicant shells and continue on living as normal. Observer 021, codename Popola. Popola and Avola have been alive for pretty much since 2001. Yep. They've been alive for a long time. Project Gestalt Report 9182. This document discusses potential strategies for the relapse cases we have observed in recent years. The term relapse, of course, refers to the catastrophic loss of sentience seen in certain Gestalts, as of which shades actually are not always sane. They go feral and sometimes completely batshit. This syndrome has defied even our, our, even our most pessimistic initial estimates, and continues to trend upward with disturbing speed. With some relapse Gestalts beginning to attack replicants, there is an urgent need to take comprehensive action. We remain convinced that an unknown technological defect in the Gestalt transformation process is responsible for the condition, but so far have been unable to confirm this theory. Research of this condition is now our top, uh, top priority, and looks likely to continue for some time. So, basically, even the Shadow Lord and all of those didn't want the Shades to relapse. Obviously, this is a bad thing. It, caught, it basically contributed to the war between replicants and human, well, replicants and Shades. And, um, well, basically, they needed someone to take care of the relapse Shades. That one may or may not have been us. 
Project Gestalt Report 10432. Shorthand minutes of Case 23, Emergency Response Conference Committee Special Meeting. Issue, observed upwards trend in relapses, noted and discuss. Issue, acceleration of restoration schedule, approved. Report, debate over using codename Noir for human restoration schedule. Report, preparations to launch uh, VICE decoding system for above. Order for collection of guidance and release code of Neo alongside what Vice launch? Oh boy. So pretty much, it seems that we have been guided to. Um, well, Near and Vice meeting was not a chance of fate. Popular and Devela ha- uh, had been intending for them to meet all along, probably to take out the shades and to eventually get Vice to Noir. Project Gestalt Report 11242. We have de- uh, determined that the rise of relapses was due to an unexpected spike in the sentience of replicants, as well as uh, genetic instability within the original Gestalt. The original Gestalt, I believe, being the Shadow Lord. It seems the original's effect on the bodies that have undergone the great Gestalt process was not anticipated in advance. Immediate action must be undertaken to identify the links between this trend in the original Gestalt, along with its daughter, the relapsed case known as Yona. The Observer Contact Group is uh, growing uneasy, so finding a solution to the relapse issue should be considered a top priority. See other reports for more details. Interesting. Let me just read over that again. I see. So it seems that within the Shadow Lord seems to be a natural instability that caused the Shades to relapse. Hmm. Very curious. Well, that's enough to mull over. That's not what we came here for. We didn't come here to read documents and do paperwork. This isn't a bureaucracy. This is hell on earth. And it's time to end this. Through that other set of doors that I completely forgot about. I forgot there were shades to fight. But a good way to get Nier's anger out after that certain dramatic event. Surprising, such a young boy condemned to the grave. Doesn't it strike you as strange? All these tiny shades carrying used colouring books? They're not just junk items. So many doors, so little time. They can bring shades by the thousand, but none of them are enough to stop Nier's wrath. Maybe, maybe that's enough. Just enough. Well, on the map, it seems like this is a giant arena-like room, so I can pretty much guess that this is the final room. Finally. Well, enough words. We've got someone to say hello to. And it's been a long fucking journey.
will kill you. Strike hard. Hold nothing back. And so the first battle is not against the Shadow Lord, but his book, Grimoire Noir. We'll be getting a little bit more into the origins of these books in the future. How could a mere tool hope to stand against the Shadow Lord? Don't speak in such a manner, fool. I am nothing like you. It's coming! That's nice, Vice. Can we get an audio rip of that? I think I could put it to good use. Impossible! I'm gonna swap to a different weapon so that I don't butcher them so fast that we don't get to hear any of the dialogue. Don't relax yet, it's not over! Now it seems like the real battle is starting. The reason we came here in the first place. To defeat the Shadow Lord. And he's got one badass sword. Unfortunately you cannot unlock it. As we can probably expect, Grimoire... Well, not Grimoire. Well, I guess Grimoire Noir has his own tricks up his sleeves. And so does the Shadow Lord near. And it's kind of unfortunate. In the end... It's just near versus near, for the sake of his daughter. In both ways, in more ways than one. Shadow Lord Near just wants to save his shadow daughter, and real Near wants to save his real daughter. There's no other better way to put it. There is no right and wrong. Nice. You all right? Naturally, I'm as fit as a fit. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, fuck this noise. Oh wait, wrong weapon! Ugh. Wait. his body. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can... I can hear her. She keeps crying. She says she wants to see her dad. Yona's been possessed. This girl loves her father too, as much as I do. She loves him just as much. It, it's not right that she can't see him. <laughs> I 
Are you... Dad? Yes, I am. Let's go home. Just like that, Shade Yona ascends and moves on. And everything the Shadow Lord fought for for 1,300 years is now null and void. Hurry! The shade that possessed her is gone. And obviously, the Shadow Lord's a bit pissed about that. Not that I blame him. Watch over Yona for me. You want me to understand your sadness? You think I'm gonna sympathize with you? I swore to protect my daughter and my friends. If someone puts them in danger, they must stand aside or be cut down. Come on, let's go. And so that's the text from the original trailer. It's almost strange, it's almost as if Nier understands what the Shadow Lord is feeling, or saying almost. Oh, I can't actually reach him with this sword, because he keeps blasting me back down! What's wrong? Time. All is well. You're freaking me out here, Heiss. What are you doing? To come so far. To do it. Strike the killing blow. that some headstrong idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Vice, I'm sorry. I... Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But... Let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? I should stop him, of course. But after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't! I swore to fight by your side! <sighs> you are an exceedingly stubborn man. You know that, don't you? Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name? Oh, well, forget it. I've 
grown rather fond of Vice. Vice. I knew you'd come around. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head now. Just like that, Grimoire Vice is gone as well. We can't use magic anymore, so there's nothing we can do. I have something to defend. I have a reason to live. Are you all right? Oh God, no. Oh please, the girl is fine. Vice? Where are you? I can't see you. That is because I have lost my physical form. Doubtless my voice will be the next to go, so listen closely. Your Yona is safe. Do not mourn her, and do not give up hope. Instead, you must call her back to you. How do I do that? Use your memories. Recall the times you spent with Yona. Present her with proof that the two of you live still, and that you're lying. I... I don't know. Typical. But take heart. I know you can do it. What's my favorite food? Cookies. What's my favorite book? That's my magic storybook. What's my favorite place? Home, as long as you're around. What's my favorite flower? The Lunar Tear, of course. Okay, one more question. Who do I love more than anyone? Hmm. I wonder who it could be. Yes, this must be it. I don't think it wants me to, though. Nope. It doesn't want me to put in Sean Connery. Whoops, okay. Well, actual answer is gonna be... near. Yours alone. 
You look stronger than before. You look good. Well, you haven't seen me for a long time. Have I been asleep? I think so. Wow. It's like I'm a princess from some fairy tale. I'm so happy, Yona. I'm so very happy. Oh, Dad. Kaine? You two have a good life. Okay? Where are you gonna go, Kaine? No, I'll... You could stay with us. Thanks, but I'll pass. You know how it is. I got my own shit to take care of. What do you mean? Personal shit. That doesn't involve you. Take it easy, alright? Kaine. Dad! Look! It's beautiful. For the longest time, someone kept calling out to me, wanting to see the light. And now, we can finally see it. And that was the ending of Nier, ending A, the happiest of the endings. We're treating to a flashback of five years ago. You can probably tell from Yona's smaller statue, a stature, and Nier's lack of eye patch. Oh, I never know how to feel about this ending, but it's the closest thing you're gonna get to smile about. It was a long journey that took me an entire year, but I don't regret even a moment of it. I'm glad I got to show off this game in its most complete sense, and there are more endings to come, so my work isn't finished just yet. It's sort of beautiful, and I've always loved the idea of that there is no white and black, but not so grey, so to speak, where things aren't so deliberately melancholy. It's almost amazing that almost at the last moment you come to realise that all you've been doing is exactly what the Shadow Lord would have done. The person that you're supposed to hate the most is basically you. It's sort of a strange, almost weird take on the or concept of fighting yourself. There's so many ways that you can take this, it's almost absurd. And I hate to read too far into things, but Near pretty much force takes you by the neck and forces you to. You can't look away from the brilliance of the whole concept of the idea, and it almost makes you wonder just what they could have done with a AAA budget, 
when they could have done with the original concept of Nier, what it could have been, would it have been anywhere near as good as this? Despite Nier being the way that it is, so rustic and not entirely enjoyable, I think that only adds to its charm. Despite not being 100% with it and not enjoying everything that Nier had to offer, it's sort of charming in the way that it's... Well, how do I put this? You know you truly love something when you can love it even for its flaws. The lack of fun gameplay, the uselessness of fishing, everything that was part of it, despite being pretty much utterly useless, was a fair concept and also a part of the game that I will probably never forget. Nier shows a strong bond between a father and a daughter, and what can come of it. There's no such thing as that love overcomes all. What, do, what overcomes all is determination. Love may fuel it, but t determination in the end is what wins. And at the end of the day, what are you going to do? Sometimes you have to ignore every predefined concept of the world, where Nier can look away from genocide for the sake of saving someone he loves. Could you destroy an entire city for one person? If you had the button to drop a nuke on Hiroshima, would you do it again? Just for somebody that you cared about? Well, Nier probably would. But for now, let's take a sit back and listen to this music. It's pretty beautiful. That was near everybody. Stay tuned for round two. See you then.